What's up YouTube? Ace here coming at you tonight with my WWE 2000, No Mercy 2016 reactions. So the night overall was pretty good. It could have been worse. Could have been better. And let's get into why. Okay, so first match of the night and I thought this was kind of weird. They started off with the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. Which should have been the last match or one of the last matches but okay. WWE logic. Uh, it was a good match it ended how I expected because if you're like me and keep up with WWE news you knew that Cena is going off uh, for a bit to film to do some filming for his TV show and Dean Ambrose is going off for a bit to film a movie so you yeah, knew who was going to win uh, so AJ Styles retained as I expected it was a good match, like I said, overall. Uh, but yeah, AJ pulled it off. Um, there was this one moment where they tried to end the match because of a draw. Because Cena and Dean had AJ in two different submission holds. And there was like, nah, can't end like that. Keep the match going. <laughs> so AJ picked up the win. He used the steel chair. Um, it was crazy. Oh, and... Um, Unfortunately, uh, I missed like half, a little bit of one of the matches because of my network. Uh, well, actually, it was my uh, internet provider. Charter, for some reason, is messing up their hub or whatever. So, <sighs> unfortunately, I didn't get to live stream all the matches like I was hoping to over on Shoutout World's page. But that's we're gonna, we'll talk more about Shoutout World and stuff later on. Um. <clears throat> the next match was it was a divas match or a women's match excuse me oh, it was a women's match sorry my nephew's in there playing the game he's got the TV too loud but uh anyways <laughs> sorry about that y'all he's deaf for some reason but anyways um okay so, the next match was a women's match. It was Nikki Bella versus Carmella. It was it was alright for a women's match. Nothing spectacular really happened. So, Nikki Bella pulled it off. Uh, there's that. That was cool, I guess. Um, <laughs> moving right along, though. The next match I missed because of, as I mentioned, my... No, no, no. The next match was the tag team match. Excuse me. <clears throat> it was the Usos versus Rhino and Heath Slater, and Rhino and Heath Slater pulled it off amazingly. I was I was happy about that. So congrats to Rhino and Heath Slater for retaining. Uh, I hope Heath Slater's good though, because they did that little super kick thing to his leg. So I hope he ain't get put out for real. Uh, <laughs> he should be alright. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, the next match, though, I missed. Unfortunately, it was Jack Swagger versus Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin pulled it off. Poor Swagger. <laughs> Poor Swagger. Uh, but, it, uh, okay, and then I came in on the next match, which was Naomi versus Alexa Bliss. That was a pretty good match. It was supposed to be Alexa Bliss versus... Uh, Becky Lynch, but for some reason Becky Lynch couldn't compete tonight. I can't remember why they said, but yeah. Uh, Naomi pulls it off though. I was happy to see that go, Naomi. I love Naomi's new outfit and entrance. It's it's awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Then after that was the main event. Uh, I want to say no. Dolph Ziggler. I almost forgot. Dolph Ziggler and The Miz had a match for the IC title. If Dolph, Dolph put this stipulation on himself, if he was, if he lost tonight, he was going to quit. Well, there was speculation that he may actually quit. And so I was predicting Miz winning. Dolph won. Dolph's your new IC champ. Congrats to Dolph on that major. I loved, I loved seeing Dolph. With, they, 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 he's awesome. He has some skills in the ring. He's good on the mic. They need to do more with him. I'm glad to see he has the Intercontinental Championship now. Congrats to Dolph Ziggler. Much, much deserved. Well, well deserved uh, victory for him. 
Uh, okay, and then let's get to the main event. Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. This match, y'all, was crazy. I loved it. It was amazing. I thought it was going to end by count out it, uh, for a minute there. Um, but Luke Harper returns. Luke Harper returned tonight, and he didn't hit He didn't hit him. He just popped up and scared him. Or, like, just popped up in his face. Like, the lights went out. You know, the Bray Wyatt thing. Luke pops up in his face, distracts him, and Bray hits him with Sister Abigail and pulls it off amazingly. I was shocked. Everybody was saying, oh, Randy's going to get it. Randy's going to get it. And Bray picks up the win. Go, Bray. You needed a win on a pay-per-view. There you go, man. Congrats to Bray Wyatt. He beat Randy. Uh, I do like Randy, though. Uh, but overall, the pay-per-view was good. Because uh, there were surprises, unexpected things. Um, like I said, it could have been better. But it was good. It was good overall. I give it about a 7 out of 10. So there you have it. There's my reactions to tonight's pay-per-view. The next pay-per-view will be Hell in a Cell. That's in a few weeks. Um, let's talk about something real quick before I end the video, though. Uh, to, uh, okay. Tuesday, WWE 2K17 comes out. I will be having videos up here of it. So expect to see that. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Uh, let's see. Saturday. My, uh, the group I must shout out well. We will be at the University of Montevallo uh, for this convention called Falcon. So if you plan to attend Falcon or if you live in Alabama, you should come check us out. We're going to be hosting two panels there. Uh, one is the WWE fan panel, and we'll be playing a game. There will be a prize at the end. Uh, and then, let's see, we're doing a shout-out world top 10 matches of the year or not of the year but top 10 matches that we've picked uh we'll also be showing a omg moment of the year that we picked also so be on the lookout for that uh it's gonna be fun i can't wait we'll be doing uh we'll, we're gonna talk if we you know depending on time we should have some time we're gonna be doing some talking with the with the crowd and stuff uh doing our all you know speculations what y'all guys think is going to happen what y'all thought of what's happened so far in the wwe and wrestling in general and i'm looking forward to it it's going to be fun and i hope you guys are looking forward to it as well uh so i hope to see y'all out there um what else i think that's about it oh and uh the other panel okay the wwe fan panel is at 4 p.m so if y'all want to come to that it's at 4 um, and then the anime dating game that is run by another me uh, member of the Shadow World group. So come check that out as well. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, I've been working at Sloss Furnace recently. I'm a actor at Sloss now, officially. Oh yeah, the spider was behind me. Halloween decorations. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Sloss Furnaces, if you're not from Alabama, it's one of the most haunted places in Alabama. It was a factory that was run in the eight, 1800s to, like, 1970s, I think. And, yeah, that place is scary, uh, even without us there. But we just add to the creep factor. Uh, I have, I'm having a lot of fun with this job. It's an awesome job. Uh, much respect to everybody that works there. They are true champions. <laughs> I've got some stories to tell y'all of of, uh, of Sloss later on uh, after I finish working and such. But anyways, guys, yeah, come check us out at Sloss. We're open Thursday through Sunday next week. Um, come, come get scared. <laughs> but all right, guys, I'm out for now. I'm going to start doing videos more regularly. Uh, so, yeah, more content coming. Uh, also, shout out to Mr. 291 as well. Uh, the last video I did was with him, so shout out to him. All right, guys, I'm out for now. If you watch this, much love. Uh, please like, share, and uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Peace out for now.